Welcome to the JTV News Update. I am Sean Rose. And for this update story, we're going to focus on ZBVI AM's tower being reinstalled right here in Borgas Bay. Well, it's a godsend. It's um, really good to be able to get back on track and get our new tower up and erected. Uh, it's been a long, drawn-out process. Um, very frustrated with, I guess, from day one since March 9th. But we're happy to be able to get the process going again and to be able to serve the community. What of the makeshift arrangement that you had in place? Did it work to any extent? Yes, it worked to some extent. Um, as you can see, one of the um, electricity poles um, in the background. And uh, we also had the help of the um, DDM, who has a transmitter on our frequency. So that's been really, really good for us. And now tell us about the height that we're going back up to are we going to the height that it was before or is it going to be a new height that is correct the same height 300 feet same height that it was before and we've hired a company out of uh, ohio called uh, 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 tri county tower and uh, they came down uh, with their crew to uh, erect the tower so they're doing a pretty good job all the measures in terms of safety has been applied so we're in good shape as powerful as we were uh, before we went off um, by uh, early next week. Mr. Greg Bod, General Manager, Tri County Tower. Yes. Tell us about this exercise today, re uh, erecting the ZBVI AM Tower. Are there any guarantees from you and your team that this is safe and, and what are you doing here for us, basically? Oh, but of course, yes, the tower is actually being erected to a higher standard for hurricane. Um, this is going to be, when it's done, probably 145 miles an hour to 180 miles an hour. And such, and that's very important down here in the islands. And such, we've maintained many a tower down here, so we're actually proud to be part of the uh, ZBVI team to erect the new structure. Would you speak to any specific challenges, if any at all, uh, as part of this exercise? No, no. This is what we actually do for for a living, uh, profession, professional uh, erectors and such. Um, the actual tower itself is a solid leg tower, so it's made to withstand quite a bit of force and such. The only um, problems that we've come across is actually to get the stuff down here in time, because we've been working for weeks trying to get it through customs and such, and the red tape, that was the only holdup. Mr. William Henry, tell us about your involvement with the Tri-County Tower team. Yes, sir, we're actually, I'm one of four guys that are building, building the new tower and uh, just doing all the labor work, bolt tightening and all that stuff. It's like good time, good time. I understand that you, you also climb all the way up to 100, 200, 300, 300 feet. Yeah. What is that experience like? It's amazing. It's a once in a lifetime view. It's, it's great. You see the whole harbor, you see the whole islands, you see all of them. No intimidations, no fears whatsoever? No, none at all. So you, you, feel, gotta be, you feel safe all the way up there? You feel safe with yourself, yeah. Confident in your abilities. It, this looks like an exciting uh, project for you. Yes, we built a lot of towers back in the States, but we never get to work in anywhere beautiful like this. So this is probably the best mission ever. From the Bogus Bay Beach, Sean Rose for JTV News Update.